Okay, so we're going to look at how to solve this problem. So we have 6 times the absolute value of 1 minus 5x minus 9 equals 57. And it's asking for the solution set. So what it means by the solution set are my two values of x that fit this equation. So the first thing we need to do is isolate the absolute value. Okay, and we're going to do this by getting rid of this 6 and this negative 9 by using inverse operations. So if this is being subtracted, we're going to add it. We're going to add 9 to both sides and get 6 absolute value 1 minus 5x equals 66. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, we're still trying to isolate the absolute value, is get rid of the 6. Since this is 6 times the absolute value, we're going to undo that by dividing. And so we end up with 1 minus 5x in absolute value equals 11. And this is all the first step of isolating the absolute value. So step number two is going to be writing our two equations because with absolute value, we have a negative answer and a positive answer. So write our two equations. So our two equations are going to be one minus five X equals negative 11 and one minus five X equals 11. And so from here, we're just going to solve this like we would a normal equation. So subtract 1 to get rid of that. So we get negative 5x equals negative 12. And over here, negative 5x equals 10. Divide by negative 5. And we end up with x equals 12 over 5. So we can't reduce this at all. So that's just going to be a weird number. And then x equals negative 2. So those are like the two big steps, isolating the absolute value, then writing and solving our two equations. So the solution we end up with, so we're going to write it in these like curly brackets. Um, and we always write from least to greatest. So we have negative 2 and 12 over 5. So we would do it negative 2 comma 12 over 5. And this is how you would solve this problem.